What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. A game you know I'm loving, and hopefully you are as well. Uh, this video will be going out on Saturday. Um, and previously, we entered the restricted section in the library. And we got some new um, some new spells to play with. We can now go invisible. Am I going the wrong way here? Oh, in here. Totally went past it. But now we are heading to uh, back to Professor Fig's office and hand over the book that we found in the restricted section. So hopefully you're enjoying these videos. Like I said, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji. And we are doing double bills of uh, videos this weekend up until Monday. So two videos a day. And if you have now been playing, it'd be 24 hours now since you've been playing Hogwarts Legacy. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it as much as I am as well, so. Professor Fig? Oh, we have to wait because it's, uh, we're in the evening. Okay. Tomes and Tribulations. Oh. Why is the music on sour? Serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Oh, oh. Fig, you have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Who's that guy? Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? Oops. But how? <laughs> Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted oh, section the as glasses. it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Totally forgot about the glasses. Oh, oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. Mm. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Seems to be a little bit of a I'll have to take it with occurrence. me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Oh. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. That's Plenty true. to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. So, I do oh, have a question for you. don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Nice. So, a little bit of a question for you. Uh, going forward with these Harry Potter videos. Uh, Harry Potter videos? Hogwarts Legacy videos. Do you want to see everything? So, do you as viewers want to see me going from A to B? Would you like some travels being skipped when I get the broom and all this kind of stuff? Would you want to see me skipping that kind of stuff? Or do you just want to see me go everywhere, explore Meet everything, and just experience the whole journey possible. from I would like zero to, talk to, to you about completion? Oh. And it might be best to do so outside of the castle. 
Oh. So yeah. Um, as I was saying, so would you like to let? So let me know in the comments uh, what you'd like me to do. Would you like to experience everything? Just see all that because I, I could do some stuff off, like to all that kind of stuff. But yeah, just let me know in the comments, like I said. But anyway, Natty just sent you an owl post requesting to meet her in the Lower Hogsfield at Hamlet. Lower Hogsfield. That looks like kind of like Hagrid's Professor house. Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please Ooh. complete the assignments I have given you and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Okay. Let's go see Natty first. Um, so we do have a mission over here. Uh, select the world map button to switch to the world. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's out. Ooh. Whoa. 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 Okay. I think... The map is pretty large. Because if that's the castle right there, and there's Hogsmeade, that's a pretty large map. And there's even room to expand, if need be, for DLCs in the future. Wait. Hamlets are small communities throughout the world. Okay. And she wants us to meet us there. This is a Hamlet. Lower Hogsfield. Hamlets provide new opportunities for vendors, flu flames, and side quests and collectibles. Exit field guide. Okay. As you explore, you'll remove fog and reveal more of the map, unveiling new opportunities like Hamlets, dungeons, bandit camps, and many other locations. Nice. So, whoa. Okay, we've got our stuff to do. So we do have an herbology class. And the girl from Ugadu. 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 Ugadui. I don't know. Uh, but it's for Natty. Meet Natty on I in the lower Hogsfield. I think I kind of want to look at that. Dandelion keys, obviously, is going to be something we do passively because we need to listen out for the keys and try and find the coins for our house. Uh, cross ones around three and spell combination practice two. Talk to Lucan battle bit. Wait. So, I guess that's two missions right there. We could get done straight away whilst we're in the castle. And, oh, we're getting Expelliarmus. <sighs> Ooh. I think we're going to get the spells. So, let's go and do the cross ones. And let's do the Hellcat. Wait, where is this? Where is this on the map right now? I can't remember where she, her class is. It's over in Herbology. It's the homology class, isn't it? We're going to learn Expelliarmus. Okay. But if I was to do cross ones, where would that be? That's over there. Okay. We can do that. Let's go and do the cross ones. Let's get our... Prepare ourselves to what we might come across in this video. And our little adventure today. And learn... Apology. I did see a somebody comment as well that they don't think the, the darkness and stuff when I'm entering buildings, they think it's something to do with the, the light, kind of like in real life does. Uh, no, they've... The Hog, um, I might as well just respond here, but it's... Because uh, I've seen a lot of people mention, mention it as well. It is a rendering issue with the lights. Um, like, you see things pop in every now and again. And people kind of fade in. It's doing the same thing. Uh, it's all to do with memory. Um, and the devs have announced it. It will be coming in with the, the first big patch. Um, it's all to do with loading, you know. So sometimes I, I slow down here at the door. And sometimes you can't go through it straight away. Oh. Wait, what's the spell called? Where I actually unlock this. Look what it is. Hermione does it in the first one. Alohomora? Is that it? That could be it. Alohomora. That could be it. Still don't know about this. The map. Hmm. 
Obviously, what invisibility? It could be. It could be Expelliarmus, maybe, but I don't know. Anyway, let's push on and go and talk to Lucan. Here we go. It's an old dark again. Everything starts coming in. Hi, Lucan. I'm Huge back. Champion coming through. Um, let's do the practice. Hello, Lucan. Oh, God, I've the glasses. I'd like to practice with the training <laughs> dummy. I keep Excellent forgetting idea. about the glasses, man. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Uh, yes. That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Okay. Right. Let's do this. Accio. Incendio. Leviosa. Good one. Nice. Accio. Incendio. Excellent form. Oh. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. The, the cooldown nearly got me then. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. <laughs> it's my lizard eyes. Uh, it was just a dummy. It was only a training dummy. True, but it's a difficult dummy. Believe me, I know. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other duelists had better beware. Speaking of crossed ones, do you have another one for me? Ooh. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of crossed ones ready? Big match today. It all Ooh. comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. The Ready last for a shot one. at glory? I am indeed. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Um. Yeah, let's bring Natty. <laughs> yeah, let's bring Natty yes, in. Why not? Natty. Then let's get started. I could have tried and doing this by myself, to be honest. We can make this a real victory. That's oh. the spirit. Four of us. Hi there. Championship round. Break through red shields by... Oh, God. Okay. So now we've got different... We've got a yellow, we've got a blue, and we've got a red. Okay. Noted. Ah! Ah! Repairer. Yep, I used the wrong spell. I can't tell. I need to stop repairing. I need to stop repairing in fights. It's because I'm pressing triangle, but I'm keeping hold of right really trigger. Uh, out of you, yeah, so when I'm keeping hold of right trigger to try again. hit him, I'm pressing triangle at the same time to dodge, but I'm trying, yeah, I keep, yeah, you know what I mean. So that's a habit I need to get out of. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Okay. Here we go again. Incendio. Let See what I mean? Oh my god, repair are you annoying me? Incendio. Come on. Accio. Expense. Levioso. 
Repair all. Bloody hell. Trying to lift that right trigger up. Again? That's yes, going to be annoying. Now. Very well. Good luck out there. Third time's the charm. Okay, here we go. Incendio. There goes my way. Protego. Frigo. Incendio. Incendio. The power. Did it again. Total mess, but, but, practice. What a victory! You've won the tournament. It's an honour. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. I'm going to blame the and glasses. I'm pleased to have <laughs> such a gracious champion. Now to the victor goes the prize. And so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Uh, thank you. Thank you. It's been an honor. So yeah, that was a you total mess. It. You are a jewelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Okay, I'm going to talk after you. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. <laughs> I haven't tended them in ages. There we go. Okay. Hi, Natty. I'll meet. I'll be meeting you soon. Um. But yeah, so like, I definitely need to get better at lifting the right trigger off when I go to do a defensive spell because if I don't, I'm going to do repair on mid-fight. Um, so I'm hoping what I want to do, to be honest, would to remove the repair roll um, because we can't change our abilities or have different slots and stuff. We don't know yet because I know there's a talent tree and everything and it might be in there. So don't um, quote me on that or anything. So I do, well, there might be a possibility that we can change our spell sets on the fly with quick keys. Um, and that'd be useful to remove the repair roll from there and use it as a uh, a fighting one, right? And I'll have my other ones, which like my, my light and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, we did unlock the mission and go ahead to thing. But I think I might go down to Herbology. Um, so we're going to go down here and we're going to just jump over this and we're going to fast travel and see what herbology class is going to be. And I'm wondering if we're going to get the, what's it called, plants? Uh, I totally forgot the name of them. Um, the screaming plants, you know? Uh, do I need to set it as an active mission? I think I do, do, do. So we have already been to the herbology area because we snuck in that. Uh, was that last episode? I can't remember. I'm recording too far ahead now of where I was up to. And plus I've got other games I'm recording on the side as well, so. Yeah, we was here. Yeah, we, we snuck in here, didn't we? Because we unlocked this. Wait, did I ever see a page? I thought I did. Never mind. I want to look out for them. But also listening out for the... Oh. 
Oh, Dittany leaves. Ooh. We need Dittany leaves for health potions. But we can plant her on as well. Oops. <sighs> Oh, these aren't them. Okay, there's no more then. All right, let's head into Herbology. And I don't think we've come across this teacher yet. So. Let's see. Oh, we haven't. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. Garlic. We need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> class. She's like, please welcome the who the F is this guy with the wig glasses? Garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the belting bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Mandrake, there it is. Akio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Why not tell us to do that before they started screaming your spoon? The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone! Okay, what was that now, about? for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You know what I need to do, to be honest? I need to take my glasses off. Because... <laughs> they're making me go crazy. I, I, I just can't take anything seriously when I'm just looking over there and I can see his big googly eyes, you know. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already she taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. Ooh. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even okay. with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Okay, Let's nice. See how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Disney's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wigan Wells potion. As you all should Ready know, Ready in nine Professor minutes, and I get five yield. Okay. 
Well done! Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Nice. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. <laughs> chomping cabbages. Hello. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Oh, thanks. Okay. Let's go, brother. Nice work in Defense Against the Dark Arts, by the way. Thanks. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Oh, God. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Wait, do what? Attack the target dummy with chomping cabbages. Hold L1 and it opens the tool menu. Oh. Look at that. They'll chomp them anything they can get oh. there. But mouths on. Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Uh oh, Did watch save out. her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Can I pick them back up? Ooh. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. Booba tubers? The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. <laughs> Not saying you can't go it alone. But, <laughs> well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're uh, not someone to be trifled with. Yep. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. So we can Take use these, as well as the venomous tentaculars. Tentaculas that will be deployed shoot acid at nearby enemies. Venomous tentacular seeds can be purchased at dogweed and death cap. Must be grown in large pots. So we can just kind of thoroughly think about it. They're kind of like grenades or anything. These are like central turrets. Kind of cool. I like that. What was that? Okay, anyway. Let's head back. Wait, this way. Hello? Oh, Miss Garlic? Was that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide? Uh, six minutes. We should end our lesson here. Kind of expect Ten. it. We get five of them. That's not bad. Hello. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology I is learn a everything. bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, I and it become will tend powerful. to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Nice. I just completed a biology class, and I can come back here whenever really and grab some of them, as long as I plant some more seeds. Only cost me my the best time to plant a seed. We must first Good chat. All right, so we've got a portions class to go to now. And Professor Hellcat's assignments. Successfully avoid enemy attacks by dodging roll. Oh, okay. And then we can go to that. To learn Expelliarmus. 
So I guess we could go to portions class. And then head over to Natty. As she has got a little job for us. Which is a bit more exploring this time. I'm gonna head down to a little meat stead. I can think oh, it's busy in here today. Look everybody. Someone from the ministry guarding oh. the school after the incident in Hogs Revelio. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Who's the portions teacher? I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Oh, this Rebellion. one actually looks like the one out of the film. There's a chest over here. Thirty gold. Oh, 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 oh! A key. Nice. Gryffindor. Revelio. Okay, so now we've got those two tokens. And remember the 16 all together that we need to grab. Okay, let's make our first portion. I, f I still feel like we've still got handcuffs on to go and do other stuff. Uh, as of yet, because we're being taught how to do portions now. Potions is one oh. of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. Oh, it's the you will begin it's the this term thinks. by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Okay. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Yeah, that's the guy that was up in Fig's office, wasn't he? Having a bit of an argument. It's always the portions teacher who's always having an argument. It's usually Use a against strong, the dark arts. Even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Pork lump What the? What is that? I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Oh, it's the same. Okay. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did oh. I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! 
you, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew in a Juris potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fwoopa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office feather. with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Uh, I can get... Uh, why not? I'll get you the Fwoopa feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwoopa feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Fwoopa feather. Keep your potion station organized. Revelio. Memorandum date 31st 1875 from Aurora Office. Subject to Borgin and Burks. Borgin and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made in the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more Auroras to join these that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. What is he, a detective? Something? Is he like a potion should not be that colour, Miss McDowell? Hmm. Here's the Fwoopa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Interesting. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. So we want to make an endurance portion, thorough. right? Oh, Okay, so there's a timer. Okay, so we can kind of just wait around and wait for this to be done. They give us one bottle. What is going in that? That looks horrible. That really bad stew with somebody's handkerchief in it. I think I see a buggy. <laughs> Purchase from JJ Pibbins. Uh, and we need hork lump juice. I don't think we've come across hork lump juice. And now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Uh oh. Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -oh. Get it! Not again! Oh! Damn. Dragon Dark! What happened? Done, what now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. God Mr. Damn it. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Hello. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. Indeed. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Hell yeah. That was kind of cool. So we have a, bl uh, uh, a brewing portion, well, a brewing stand here that we can use. We've also got one in the herbology, but I also know we can buy oh, them my robes are going and to create them for our, for, the for our place when we start building our little 
hideaway, our little getaway. How nice to see you, you know. my young friend. Um, so let's check out what we can do right now. Um, what quest have we got? So I'm thinking we go and head to meet up with Natty. Yeah, I think we're going to meet Natty. Um, we don't have any... Ch oh, we have got some challenges completed. Got a quest done. So what do we unlock? Ooh. A black cape? That looks cool. These all look cool. And gloves and a look lucky leprechaun hat. Interesting. I don't know if I can get a hood or something, you know? So I got a new claw. Oh. We'll definitely use that one. And then I'm going to change the outfit on it to give us this. I kind of like that, you know? Go with a black cape. I'm, I can now, I'm now Superman. What else have we got? Have we unlocked anything else? Obviously, I've got, I can... I can't really put that on. Actually, that's going to give us better defense, to be honest. If I was to put this on. And I can just change the appearance of it. Maybe put the suit on or... I think I might go with that, to be honest. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we, we did wear this before. But I don't need to kind of stick with my colours of my house. Yeah, let's kind of go with this. Let's keep with the colours of the house. And then, what gloves have we got here? We've got some thingy ones. I, I don't want to dismantle them because I do want to sell them if we don't need them. I think I'm going to go with these leather ones here. Oh, no. Let's go with the red. Red and gold. Kind of goes with everything else. We've got the red scarf on. Do we go with a hat this time? <laughs> I'm a wizard. I'm a what? I'm a wizard. <laughs> I don't like these. They're a bit too... Pointy. I think this kind of goes with it now, you know. Might go with the... F yeah, it kind of goes with it. I'm going to stick with that whilst I'm going outside. Okay, cool. Cool, cool beans. Have we got any new handles? Oh, we do. Let's go with this one. Okie dokie. And I don't think we've got anything else we can unlock. Obviously, we've got all of these, which are just showing us, you know, different leaves and ministry collectible stuff and the house token, which we kind of need to hand in at the chest in the common room. Wait, am I got a letter down there? I think I saw a letter. We've got an owl. It's time to prove your dueling metal to see if we're a new school. Oh, yeah, we've already done that. I mean. Nice. Right, let's go and head to uh, to Natty. I was going to call her Nutty. Uh, to Natty. And meet her outside the school. So we're going to go on a bit of, bit of an adventure. But we're heading south this time. Whoa, what the?
Repair her. Okay. That was just weird and random. <laughs> just kind of just started turning around and he's beating him just like. All right, time to go on a bit of an adventure. I'd like so where is she? She's 500 meters away. I can't wait to get a broom. I'm just glad we got a bit more free roam now, and we could, we could go and explore places. And we do need to kill some um, enemies, so I do need to dodge roll six more times as part of one of my assignments, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, one of my assignments is to, yeah, successfully avoid enemy attacks by dodging, uh, dodge rolling a four out of ten. I should have really done that whilst I was doing my training. If I would have known, I would have done that. Oh, there's the big bridge. That's where Longbottom stands right in the end one. And you can just see him just run away from all the snatches. Oh, we're actually adventuring now. It, uh, an owl. Oh. I want some of these. I think um, we're definitely going to do some classes over here. I think this might be do uh, with beasts. Because I know we do get to do some uh, beast taming and stuff. Akio. So I'm looking forward to that. Get some moonstone. Akio. Imagine being out here at night. Bloody hell, look at the scale of this. Bloody hell. I keep thinking it's like something jumping. Oh, they are jumping, but... Like something was coming at me, like a troll or something. This is gorgeous. Back here. More moonstones. That one. Oh, that one's a bit dodgy under the ground. That's why we couldn't get it. Uh, it wouldn't lock on automatically. Flying around is going to be so much easier. But I guess you have to do a bit of the the grind before you get a little bit of the easy traversing, right? Oh. <laughs> we can't collect these. Oh, wait a minute. That's Hagrid's house. <laughs> Makes more sense now. Good old ground keepers. And then here's all the pumpkins. I don't know if we can do anything with this, but let me also. Incendio. Maybe not. I don't want to get in trouble. This looks intriguing. What does? What looks intriguing? A little camp down there. Nutty's right here. Nutty! Hello? Oh, 
Hi there. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hi. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. I feel like we could just... In fact, it's we why need to I was start late to the someone. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. <laughs> what sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true. But shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. Mm. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Wait. Be on your guard. Did you seriously bring me out Off here? On another adventure, Just to tell me? I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? What was that? Wait, let me look here first. Before hmm. we go over there. Seems a pleasant enough little place. you repeatedly not to stray far from home especially when i'm inside with your little sister but you should see the money <sighs> oh. i never thought ramrock's loyalists would go this far pardon me is everything all right hardly i've just lost my business and almost my life you'd best look elsewhere for wares i've nothing to sell now i never thought it'd come to this be on your guard Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal or associated with Gringotts. 
I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, Ooh. just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It okay. was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better well, that's circumstances. Like, that's pretty far away right now. <clears throat> well, let's check what's going on here. So who are you? Portions? Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Um, Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> better than most other places, too. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. My price is low enough already, you see. I'll take a discount. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. Okay, let's see what, what he's got. What do you have for sale? What kind of stuff has he got for sale? What can I help you with today? Okay, so he's got a Durus, a potion that answers the drinker's defense, uh, increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time, and Wigan Weld Portion aids in healing and restores a bit of... What was that? Uh, drinker's health. Which is, we know about. We can sell stuff as well, but I don't know if the best place to sell these will be here, right? Go into the claws store. I hope to see you. I again don't know if sometime. there is any form of stuff like that, but but interesting to After find. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Like a thief. Can we go in here? It's locked. But there's something over here we can check. So we got this guy. Then we heard some shouting going on over here, right? Go to the goblin camp, which actually hold. I want to make sure I assign this mission right now. Help the stranger. They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a dog shit nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid! You there! <laughs> I'm just getting my dodges. <laughs> I want my dodges. Come on. Come on. Give me my dodges. Stop it. Stop it. You know Put me right. Let me open. Incendio. Akio. What is this? Good for you, son. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, what's the light go out of your eyes? Who are you? The collection section of your field guide has been updated with new enemy types. You may learn valuable insights on enemies, such as their weaknesses to certain spells. I'm not going anywhere. You'll take this. You'll tell Rook to find me himself. 
Was interesting. Did I get the rules? My assignments. I don't think I did. Oh, I did. Nice. I did get it. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Okay. So. They're Rookwoods men, so if they're in blue, they're Rookwoods. Oh, you want me to speak to you? Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me Ash to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwoods, thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical, hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. <laughs> Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I'm not sure old vine-covered pillars are worth studying. Well, I think anything concerning Merlin is worth pursuing, and I shall have you know. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Okay. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. Mallow Sweets. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Oh, Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Oh my word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, Incendio? this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio. Mullins beard! The flames make the pyre sink. But what does this do? Curious. 
the pyres are back where they started. Okay. Oh. There's multiple of them. Naughty. Incendio. There we go. I only noticed the one. Whoa. What a day. I can hardly believe it. What, what does this do? I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. As long as I have the I petals, of course. I believe I have what I need to well, continue sweets. my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, mm. which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Nice. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. <laughs> yes. Nice. So we've completed that. Obviously, we met up with Natty. Something purple over there. Oh, it's the Potions Master guy, isn't it? Well, what I'm thinking of doing is maybe teleporting back. Because I don't think there's anything we can do if here. you're here for my wares, I'm afraid of. Actually... You can find him near the Great oh. Hall. Sir Nicholas is looking for me. Maybe we go and have a look at this side quest this guy wants to do at this camp. Oh, wait, who's that? The Lost... Oh, who's this? It's like a place right out of a storybook. Wait, where's that side mission? Lost. Oh no! We track it, and then it's it's this. No, it's this person over here. Wait, can we swim? After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. I think it's deep enough. Lumos. I can teach you for some assistance. Hello. Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. What's that in the water? I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Uh... <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not keen on mucking about at the bottom of lakes. Oh, please don't say no just yet. Perhaps if you understood my plight, you'd change your mind. Perhaps. What precisely do you need to retrieve and why? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some I'm going to go down, aren't I? I can already tell. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? 
That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Hmm. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. I'm just but wondering how I'll get I'd it. I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Money, like anything else you found, would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Okay. I do hope you find <clears throat> the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. Yeah, but it sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Yeah, you say that, but <clears throat> there's a thing over there moving in the water, love. I'm not going to lie to you. If I kick you in there, you're not coming back out, are you? There's a reason you're sending me in there. What? I don't know what is that. I don't know if that's a head coming out or it's some form of otter. Or is it a beaver? I'm not talking about you. I'm on about that. What is it? Is it a frog? Anyway. I guess I can try... Go around this way. I'm just wondering though, am I going to come across sirens and stuff in the water? Or do I need to find gillyweed so I can... My breath under... Ooh. Uh, breath underwater, you know? This could be a very bad idea. This is a very bad idea. I'm doing this in the rain and night time and I'm walking out here like I've got a gummy leg as long as that toady thing stays over there I'm fine okay but how do I swim down this must be where the pinch smedley family astrolabe is ah it's an automatic thing. Good to know. My gear... My gear slots? Hold, 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 hold. Gear slots? <gasps> oh, no. I'm going to have to get rid of a couple of things. I'll get rid of some like the cheap ones. $60, 30 There we go. Let's get rid of the 30 Let's keep the expensive ones. Let's get rid of that. We'll keep them. 60 is a lot. Zero. Okay, can I pick that back up now? Oh, Quidditch uniform. Crimson Clockwork Scarf. A 
leather flat cap. I didn't realise we had um, slots, to be honest. Rugged dueling gloves, and obviously this is going to be the last one. It's going to give us the astronomy thing. There it is. And three portions, apparently. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. I know. I'm trying to get back to her. Just going to take me a while to walk out, out, out back onto land. Actually. Oh, cool. Just skim, skim the stones on the water. All right, missus. I got your little... I'm soaking wet. And I got your thing. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? I did. It's yours for a price. I did, but it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your calibre is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. Nice. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. The Lost Astrolabe. Lab. Perfect. Well, I think we're going to call that video right there. So, thank you so much for watching. And remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment. Uh, if you uh, even just an emoji, you know what we do. But check out my other content right here, and I will see you in another video. So as always, keep smiling, and I'll see you then.